Snagit is another screencasting option for Chrome and Chromebooks and is an extension. And when installed, it will be this little S up here in the top right. When you click on it, you'll want to make sure that your microphone is working. So you want to click on it and make sure the slash is through it. That way you know it's working. If you haven't done this step before, it might prompt you up in the top left to allow the microphone in the camera. Once done, you can go ahead and click on screen. Now you'll see these other things up here. This is for image capturing. So Snagit can also capture images and allow you to annotate those images as well. For this, we're going to look at the screen recording. So I'm going to click on that. It gives me the choice between entire screen or new tab. I'm just going to do entire screen. That allows me to flip between tabs, pop-ups, and menus, and it shows what's in them. If I just did the tab, it wouldn't show those things. Once I click share, it is now recording everything that I do. So anywhere that I go, it will record every movement, movement that I make. And once I'm done, I just click on stop sharing. And it will load up a new window where it will give me a preview of what I made. There's a couple things you can do with this. Number one, name your video. After a syncing is complete at the bottom, you can name your video. And then you can play it. You'll see these three dots at the bottom. Here you have some interesting options. You can get the link right to Google Drive. You can send this to YouTube if you wanted to. And then the last one only appears in special situations. This is animated GIF. And what this means is if you are under 20 seconds, you can create an animated GIF. So you can use an image that replays itself like a video, except it's not a video. I'll show what I mean. I'm going to click on animated GIF. It is going to cook it into a GIF. And then when it is done, you can go ahead and download that and grab the link as well. So I have the link to the GIF. So then I can just paste this GIF here. And it should open it up in Chrome for me to take a look at and see it work. So here you go. So it looks like a video, but it's not. It's an image. And you can use this image then in slideshows and other different places. So it's just a repeating example of something. So if you can keep your video under 20 seconds, you can make a GIF out of it. Otherwise, where do they go? There's actually a folder in your drive called text, TechSmith that it shows up in. So if you click on the dots here, you can get the link to Google Drive. Or if you go to Drive, in your My Drive, you'll be looking for the TechSmith folder. Right here, I have it. And then I should be able to go in there and find the video I just made. There it is, as well as the GIF.